Our findings have shown that NDIC is a level 5 uh, platinum level organization. The Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, has backed the federal government's Level 5 Platinum Level Organization Award for outstanding performance in good governance and financial accountability. This assessment was carried out by the Bureau of Public Service Reform, BPSR, from September 2021 through the Bureau's Self-Assessment Tool, SAT Initiative, to ensure improved services. NDIC did not identify a major areas of financial risk and, pre and prepares contingency plans to mitigate risk associated with changes in your income and funding streams. NDIC had not carried out a value for audit exercise to determine whether the agency's services and functional responsibilities are delivered in cost-effective way and also whether financial resources are judiciously expanded. The Director General of the BPSR, Dr. Dasuki Awabi, while speaking at the event, revealed that the Bureau assessed 10 pragmatic areas in the corporation, including performance management, strategic plan budget, procurement transparency and accountability, among others. Noting that NDIC is the first and only agency under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, which has enthusiastically submitted itself to undergo the assessment. Responding to the honor, Mr. Belu Azan, the managing director of NDIC, affirmed that the SAT initiative would continue to assist the corporation in evaluating its responsiveness to current government policies. Well, we were highly elated for being rated uh, platinum level. But I think for us, we have a culture of continuous process improvement. So we are going to look at the report closely, most especially on the recommendations, to see where we have some weaknesses so that we can improve on them, so that when next time we are assessed, we will, be be we will do much better. As I said, the award and report would spur the corporation into doing more to achieve its targets. Tumile Okunlola reporting for ANF TV.